Everybody, John with Owl. This is the B2 for NCV3, otherwise known as the second generation Sprinter van. I have a video on here for our old bike carrier. Uh, this is the new version of that. We actually created it for the third gen Sprinter and we liked it so much, uh, we made a version for the second gen Sprinter. Anyway, the installation of this is actually identical to our old carrier. The face looks different, but the old carrier video still works. So uh, I just want to intro you that this is the B2 carrier for second gen Mercedes. And now I'm going to cut in the older video uh, where I'm probably uh, much more entertaining, much better looking, and it will teach you how to install your carrier. Thank you. Hey everybody, today we are going to show you how to install the bike rack. Is this? this one's just a prototype, so might be slightly different from yours, but this is gonna install very similar to our tire carrier. If you've installed that, this should go really, really smoothly. <clears throat> really, really smoothly. If you haven't, no worries. It's all pretty straightforward. I'm gonna move this off to the side. The first thing you wanna do is remove the panel. Now this van gets uh, prototyped on all the time, so the panels are already out. It's pretty simple. We include, let's see if you can get. We include a panel removal tool. You see these green snaps, basically, you've just gotta pull that panel off. The only tricky thing with the uh, passenger side is the trim surround. I've long since, uh, I took mine off a long time ago and have long since lost it, because again, these panels have been off this van for so long. But like anything, trim, interior, it's just a, a bunch of plastic snaps. Let me see if I can show you here. With that trim surround, it notches into these things here and you see the little ramp back there. So um, it basically goes in and clicks over that. So it, the hard part is you gotta kinda get under there and lift those tabs up. I use like a long dental tool. I don't know, you can kinda use whatever you want. Anyway, it's a little bit fiddly, but it's not all in all that difficult. So let's jump ahead, you've already got this off. One of the things that's new with the bike rack, because the bike is heavier and we've got a cargo box on there, etc. We've gone to an upgrade, upgraded door bracket. Okay, it's a much bigger piece. It, it spans this entire distance. It's also got these things on the back, which look a little bit funky, kind of like hockey sticks, I guess. Um, so if I take this off real quick, these Allens are a number four. Some of you may have uh, welded units. Some of them may come as a single piece. We're getting these made. Currently it's two of our door brackets welded together. Um, so if it looks a little different, no worries. These are the hockey sticks, you have two of them. The way this works is this side goes flat against the hole and then these actually lever over. You stick this behind the sheet metal of the Mercedes and down and then put some bolts in it. So I'll take you in real close. Hopefully you guys can see in there. So I've got the bracket here. Obviously you wanna line that up over the hole. What you can do kind of as a temporary thing is you can take one of the bolts that it comes with and make sure that this lines up properly is you can just stick that through that hole to make sure that you keep that bolt, that hole lined up. Then you're gonna wanna mark, make sure this thing is flat, and then you're gonna wanna mark your drill holes, all four. And if it doesn't quite span the gap, that's fine. There are actually some, some ribs that stick out a little bit so we can't make it wider, but it's fine. Um, Mark your bolt holes, drill those out. Once those are drilled out, once those are drilled out, that's when these kind of hockey stick like things come into play. So these actually reach over, you, you kind of grab it by this tab on top, you slide it over and behind, and then that tab hopefully will keep it resting on there so it should line up and then you stick these allens through you can also try starting one of the bolts a little bit through before you put this back there then you can kind of just hold it with your finger till you find the hole try not to cross thread it obviously anyway you get the idea so uh Two in this side and then two in the other side and then tighten those down. You can even put some Loctite on that if you want to. Uh, and then you are ready to start with the hinges. All right, now it's time to install the hinges that it, are these that kind of look like C's, I guess depending on how you look at them. Uh, they got holes in the back. Now there should be four bolts that you get with this. 
four of them look the same and one of, or sorry, three of them look the same and one of them looks like this. Normally we'll kind of color the top of this bolt, but you see how it's kind of narrower? That is because this bottom hole here, uh, you need a narrower bolt, it's just that simple. So you wanna go ahead and take these bolts and stick them, stick them, that bottom one sets in there like that. And then When you install these bolts, you want to make sure that this bolt is moved all the way kind of towards the side of the vehicle. That's because there's a little catch in there that um, can impact the top of the bolt. So once it's over here, you'll see that it's loose. That's good. Same here. So now we have these plastic. You see these little plastic uh, washers? You slide those on the outside of the bolt. Like that. And then you can just go ahead and put the nuts on, tighten them down. There should be lock washers as well. You want to tighten those uh, kind of snug, but not crank on them because we'll actually tighten them all the way down later. Now we're going to move on to the part of the hinge that connects to the actual bike rack. You should get two of these, one long, one short, short one on top, long one on bottom. And the way they connect to the bike rack, is you, now, you also have these are stainless one inch bolts. So the way this works is this hinge goes inside the bracket and then this bolt comes in from the back side and screws in. You wanna put these on before you mount your rack. These you can tighten way down. We've purposely designed it so that you have aluminum uh, sandwiched by steel into steel. This makes it very, very strong. We've also got, uh, the way we welded this, a piece of channel that's welded in an arc horizontally means that this is an incredibly strong structure. But we've got a steel hinge, and again, you can tighten these down, you know, 70, 80 foot pounds is, is, is fine. You're gonna wanna put the short one on top, long one on the bottom, and then once you have your hinges on your vehicle, you're gonna be ready to mount this up onto the van. Once you've got both hinges installed on the upper and lower bracket of the bike rack, you are ready to actually put it on the van. Now, earlier I went over how to put uh, these hinges onto the hinges of the van. Once you have those snugged down, what you're gonna wanna do is find this bolt. It's got two regular washers and two plastic washers. Now, the way this works, I will try to show you here. It goes, Everything goes inside of this C channel. Everything goes inside of the C channel. So you've got this that's already on your rack. You've got a plastic washer goes in one side, a plastic washer goes in the other side, and then you sandwich them with the metal washer. It's a little hard to show right now, but then everything goes on like this. Ah. A little bit fiddly to get it right, but once you get it. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. So it goes outside hinge, you've got a metal washer, the plastic washer, the main hinge that goes to the bracket. And on the bottom, you're gonna put this nylock nut. Now, once you put the nylock nut on, you see there's a little bit of up down play. Sometimes they're a little snugger. You're gonna to wanna to tighten this down so there's no play. So this hinge is gonna squish down a little bit onto those washers. You don't want it to be cranked down so it's so it's really tight to move this, but you wanna make it tight enough so that you don't have up and down play. When I install this, I like to actually put one bolt in with nothing, especially if you're doing it by yourself. Hold it. So now I got the top bolt in with no washers whatsoever. It's just going to kind of help hold everything. Now with the bottom, you do exactly what I told you a second ago. You do uh, the two plastic washers and then the steel washers and then you tighten everything down. Now this is why we left this a little bit loose. This one is a little bit out of alignment up here. So you can use um, either uh, uh, like if you have a soft hammer or anything and you can just kind of tap 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 on that bottom part and then you'll get that to drop right in. Now once that's lined up, then you're gonna wanna go back in and tighten. 
you're gonna wanna go back in and snug these down big time. The last thing you need to do with the install is mount this sway link through the door. When you took off your door panel, removing this magnetic puck should be super easy. I think it's a 13 millimeter. You just take that 13 millimeter right off the magnetic puck. Puck comes off, it's super easy. So on this, You've got three washers. You've got this one that goes against the sway link. You've got a large kind of uh, black washer and then a smaller red silicone washer. That red silicone washer is gonna kind of fit nicely in that little space right there. The metal one, and this should all come on your sway link, but it should go metal one and then the black uh, neoprene one is gonna go against your door. And then we're gonna feed this through that hole. We've already got our backing plate in there from earlier. Now inside the door with your sway link, you're going to want to put the washer and then the nut. This isn't, uh, this is just a stainless steel nut, but yours should be a stainless steel with a nylock. So now you can see if you've got your bike rack, you've got both bolts, everything's tightened down again. Go back and snug all of the hinge bolts, make them quite tight, pretty much as tight as you can. Make sure that the, um, the main large uh, upright bolts are tight. Everything here should be good to go. You're ready to mount your box and your one-up racks to those tubes and everything should open with the door. Thanks everybody.